I have been waiting to make this video literally the entire year, so I hope you guys are excited as I am. Today I am packing for camp because I leave for camp in just a couple days now. I'm going just for four days as a counselor in training at a summer camp I've been going to for the past four years. It's a Bible camp in Fremont, Nebraska. As a four-year camp veteran, I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable about everything that you need to bring. I'm pretty confident that I'm not overpacking but I'm also not forgetting anything. So let's just get started with the video. So first I'm gonna start out with what I'm packing for my bedding. And all of my bedding stuff I'll be bringing in a large plastic trash bag just because that's what my camp recommends bringing. But for starters, I just have this twin XL white fitted sheet. It's really basic, but it's pretty soft and pretty breathable so I won't get super hot in the cabin but this is definitely necessary to protect from bug beds also just to be a little bit more comfortable in the sleeping situation definitely keeps it cleanly and good next I'm just bringing my own pillow with a pillowcase really basic pillow need I explain more it's just a pillow then I'm bringing two blankets. The first one is this ginormous teal one. It's literally so big. There's no way I can show all of it, but this is sort of like my comforter slash just like what I like to sleep with at night. I can throw it off if I get too hot, but usually I like to have some sort of ginormous blanket on me. Because of COVID precautions, we're not really gathering in buildings a lot. So a lot of stuff we're doing is like sitting outside on blankets. So then for that, I'm just bringing this little smaller blanket says my name on it it's pretty cool it's just a normal random blanket to sit on when we are sitting outside then I am bringing a beach towel because there's a pool there so we might go swimming I'm also bringing just a plain peachy colored bath towel this is like my favorite color but obviously it's just a towel if I decide to shower <laughs> but we'll see. Also bringing a little face washcloth to wash my face with just because in the cabins they keep like paper towels for drying off your hands. I just don't exactly want to dry my face with paper towels so I just bring my own and it kind of matches. And I'm also bringing one of my hair towels. These come in super handy dandy after washing your hair in the shower. You just throw your hair up in it and it helps it dry faster and then it also just helps take care of your hair better. So I'm hoping all of that will fit in the trash bag, but if it doesn't, I can add some of it to my container here. Our camp is asking us again this year to bring a big plastic tote like this. Just because of COVID, they don't want us bringing in suitcases and everything like that. Anything that doesn't fit in the trash bag will just go into there. Next, I'll show you what I am bringing for clothes. So first of all, I'm just bringing a plain little gray sweatshirt that I don't care a super lot about for the mornings if it's chilly, which it says it's supposed to be like high of 90s and sunny the whole week. So I have a feeling I won't be needing that, but just in case it's nice to have if it does get a little bit colder. And then going along with that, I'm also bringing a pair of red sweatpants. These are just from Pink. They're super comfortable. They're my favorite pair of sweatpants, but these are nice for the nighttime if we're running around messing in dirt and gross things. Or again, if it's cold or rainy, adjusted the camera. So hopefully you can see a little bit better, but then for pajamas, I'm just bringing these little soft blue shorts super basic nothing fancy for a pajama shirt I'm just bringing a big oversized tee that I actually got from camp last year it's super soft so I love to sleep in it then as far as outfits go this is what I plan to wear there my high-waisted white shorts from H&M and then this camp tee from two years ago and like I said it is gonna be very hot so I also have a tank top I might wear instead meaning I'm not gonna pack it because I'm gonna wear it there on like my first day going there and then I'm also gonna wear my comfy sandals there these are knockoff chacos I got from Target and I've been wearing them a lot as you can tell because they're super dirty 
but I love them and I plan to wear these the majority of the time. Another outfit I'm bringing, not sure what day I'll wear it yet, but just these plain black Nike shorts. Keep you cool. And then this blue Nike tank top. I'm also bringing this like little tie-dye cloud tank top. And I'm planning to wear that with these plain black jean shorts from PacSun. And then a final outfit I'm bringing are these high-waisted khaki shorts from H&M. And then this shirt that says Jesus is King from an Instagram store called God Over Anxiety. Then I'm also just bringing two pairs of socks and also for shoes, just in case it's rainy or muddy and I don't wanna wear my sandals, I'm gonna bring these ancient tennis shoes that I have. They are literally so disgusting, but I'm ready to finally say goodbye to them. So I'm gonna bring them to camp and if they get dirty and disgusting, then I'll just throw them away because they are on their last limb of life. I'm also bringing this orange tie-dye shirt that I made just as an extra shirt in case any of my other outfits get too sweaty or dirty or whatever the case is. I'm of course just bringing three sports bras and then this is the swimsuit I'm bringing if we do get to go swimming it's just a one piece with a cute little open back and ties at the top from Airy. Very cute, I love the bright orange color. And then I'm also bringing this shoelace as a belt for my jean shorts because they don't exactly fit the best, but that's what shoelaces are for. Then I'll show you what I'm bringing in my daily activities bag or just my bag that I'll carry around with me as we're going to our different stations and just daily activities that we do. I'm just bringing this cinch sack, cinch sack, cinch sacks, blah, blah, blah. say that five times fast. I got from my camp last year. It just will fit everything, so I'm bringing it. I'm also bringing my own water bottle. My camp usually provides us with them, but they're not very big, and then everybody's looks the same, so I just like to know which one is mine. So this is a Nalgene I got from my friend when I went to Montana. I two summers ago or three summers ago. It just has some cute little stickers on it and some of them did not stand the test of time against our dishwasher. It's super big, it holds 32 ounces of water and it's pretty easy to carry along with you, so I'm bringing it. Then I'm of course bringing my Bible because it is a church camp and so we do read out of our Bibles quite a bit. This is the message gift bible i got it from barnes and nobles for i think like 15 16 dollars and then i painted the cover myself this was my quarantine project it just says in his word i put my hope and it's a little bit um you know smudged off but i kind of like it that way i just like this one because it's easy to travel with and yeah and then wherever I bring my Bible, I also bring a notebook to take notes with. We also do note taking at our chapel services. So I'm just bringing this notebook. I think this is the same notebook I brought to camp last year. There's only a couple pages left as you can see, but hopefully I will fill it up. And then I'm just bringing this big pencil bag that I had a friend make for me quite a while ago. And it just has all of my highlighters and pens in it. And then, of course, you cannot go to camp without friendship bracelet making stuff. So I just have this little organizer container. And I have a couple different colors of string. I might go to the store and pick up a couple more colors just for fun. I'm not sure how much free time we'll have. But just in case, I loved bringing a disposable camera last year, so I'm bringing one again. I've already taken a couple pictures with this this summer with my friends, so I don't plan to use all of this. I plan to keep using it throughout the rest of summer, but it might be nice to snap a photo here or there if the occasion arises. And then I don't plan to be on my phone very much, but since I am a counselor, they're a little bit more lenient with phone usage. So just in case, I will be bringing my phone and my charger, but I really don't plan to be on it 
more than like five minutes a day. And then also in that little activities bag, I'll be keeping my sunscreen and bug spray. So I'm just bringing this big spray on Copper Tone SPF 50. I don't want to have to worry about a bunch of different like tanning treatments and oils and bronzers and all that. I really don't care about getting tan at camp. This will keep me good and covered. Then I have a special sunscreen for my face recommended by my dermatologist because sometimes sunscreen is really oily and it does not go with your skin well. So this is nice. It's just from Copper Tone. It doesn't cause breakouts. So I will be bringing this. And then of course bug spray because the bugs are out. They're always biting. They're out to get me I swear so bug spray and then I guess we'll just get into my little toiletry bag here first I'm just bringing my little medications I have my shampoo and conditioner marked in bottles shampoo and conditioner nice and little travel sized so they stay with me well also i have my little travel sized body wash i'm bringing a couple different hair things i'm gonna bring this clip just for fun this ponytail and this clear ponytail holder nothing fancy just enough to keep my hair back if i need it also bringing my contact case and contact solution which i might need some more travel sized contact solution that's like barely hanging in there. I'm bringing my travel sized face wash, a travel sized toothbrush and toothpaste, my retainer and retainer case, and some chapstick. And also some deodorant. And all of that fits really nicely in this bag here, so I don't have to worry about digging through my tote for it. I can just bring this to the bathroom with me every time I'm getting ready or unready, and it's just very convenient. Then I'm also bringing my glasses with my glasses case because I'm blind as a bat, and when I take my contacts out, I need to put my glasses on immediately because I can't see without them. Just for fun, I'm also bringing a pair of sunglasses and cleaner, I guess, off Amazon. They're very cool girl sunglasses, but I don't know. I kind of like them. And then I'm also bringing a hairbrush. This one is a wet detangling brush and it has Moana on it, my favorite. But my camp hair literally gets so disgusting and nasty. So this is kind of a necessity in order to brush through all the knots and tangles and bug spray and grossness and bleh that happens at camp. I might need to do a little bit more condensing and refiguring, maybe take this the towel out that I put in here, but all of that fits. Ugh. This thing is really heavy. In my little green tote here, and then I'll also be bringing that big trash bag. A couple other things that I'll probably end up bringing that I didn't mention here. I still need to get some cheap flip-flops for the shower, for shower shoes. I might end up bringing some snacks because I usually always bring snacks to camp. But other than that, I think that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna be bringing, so yay! Ooh, it's so heavy. But yeah, that's really all I have for this video. I am super excited to go to camp. Like, I seriously just cannot contain my excitement. I'm so giddy about it. And yeah, camp is just literally one of my favorite places to be in the summer. So I'm so excited I get to go. I'm so excited to see what's in store for me as a counselor in training. And I'm just really so excited and I hope you guys are all getting excited for your camps too. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!